Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you have not done already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. So today I will quickly again take on some comments. So today I will see what are the other comments that I can answer. So Venki, Mr. Cool writes that uh, please make a video on access management domain and physical and environmental domain like that of HR and asset management domains that you have already done in the last videos from interview perspective. Sure, uh, Venki, I will try to cover up, uh, you know, both these domains in this uh, video itself so that you get some understanding account around the access control as well as around the physical and environmental security. Okay, so first of all, I will quickly go into the access control, which is uh, A.9 uh, as per, you know, the controls. Um, access control basically includes controls for uh, user access management and, uh, you know, system access, application access controls, and what are the user responsibilities in terms of the access controls? You know, what are user roles and responsibilities in the same? And there is access control policy as well. You know, the purpose of this policy is to define rules to access uh, whatever various information systems which you have within your organization, uh, whatever equipment that you have, whatever facilities that you have, you know, based on your business and uh, security requirements for access. Okay, so this is uh, what is, uh, you know, mainly controlled by access control policy. Okay, so uh, it includes, as I've already mentioned, uh, you know, controls for user access management, user responsibilities, and system and application access controls. Okay, so what are the important things that the access control policy must contain, you know, so uh, it should contain some things like uh, only authorized users should have access to the network and network services, uh, you know, defining your user access rights provisioning, you know, what are the procedures as to who is responsible for provisioning new user accounts and providing access to them and, uh, you know, restricting and controlling the use of, you know, uh, privileged utility programs and, uh, you know, deprovisioning the accounts of any terminated users, things like that. Okay. And uh, basically, access control is very important from information security point of view. You know, uh, with access controls in place, you know, organizations can ensure that the employees have access only to the information and assets they need. You know, that is of primary importance here. Okay. So I hope that this uh, brings some light uh, to your query now uh, as per the access management domain. So next thing after that comes uh, to physical and environmental security, which is the other question that you have asked. Uh, so physical and environmental security is A.11. You know, it contains controls defining secure areas, entry controls, equipment security, Secure disposal of assets, clear desk, clear screen policy. Okay, so these are the different things that it covers. Okay, so we will talk, you know, different things. Uh, firstly, we will see securing the areas, you know, mainly physical access, uh, you know, uh, to make sure that there is no unauthorized physical access and uh, you know pro providing proper uh, you know controls in place uh, you can do this by securing your office and equipment by not allowing public access that is number one second is uh, you know protecting your people your equipment from external and environmental threats such as fire floods you know things like that third is physical entry controls you know such as door locks with smart cards or keys you know, fourth is, uh, you know, access points for external parties, you know, uh, should be separated from the, uh, you know, uh, organization uh, areas. So these are some physical access controls that you can, you know, make in place. And securing equipment means protecting loss, 
damage and compromise you know through controls such as you know appropriate siting of the equipment like for example keeping systems away from uh, water or any kind of uh, you know uh, easily damageable things to avoid any possible damage to your systems and uh, protecting your equipment from power failures by using uh, ups uninterrupted power supplies and power generators and uh, you know things like that protection of your network cables by uh, having proper closed cable channels in place and you know things like that so regular maintenance of the equipment is very important here guys uh, in this case and protecting the equipment uh, you know when taken off premises you know uh, should not be allowed you know uh, the equipment uh, you know nobody should be allowed to take the equipment out of the office without any permissions okay so defining policy for clear desk and clear screen such as you know users must be logged out whenever they are not at the computers and uh, no sensitive information should be allowed on the desk when the employee is not present things like that okay so i hope i have answered your query to some extent uh, venki in case if you still have any questions if you still have any doubts i would encourage you to watch this video once again because i have covered a lot of things covering both access management as well as physical and environmental controls so i hope this uh, video brings some knowledge to yourself as well as for others who watch and if you have any more questions or any follow up questions on whatever i have discussed in this video please feel free to comment and i will try to respond as soon as possible thank you so much for watching guys take care bye bye